today we're going to be talking about defense and we're going to be uh, making our own soft hand uh, glove. This is something that you see a lot of infielders using. Uh, obviously if you have the luxury to buy a nice soft hand glove, they're really great, um, or pancake gloves as they call them. Basically it really forces you to get on top of that top hand, have softer hands, obviously not having the luxury of the pocket or the glove to close around the ball. All you need are a couple uh, products that are pretty readily available in your house. Some cardboard, I'm using uh, some duct tape to obviously make it a little bit more stronger. Uh, I'm using a razor blade, but obviously if you got scissors at home, use those. And I'm just using a marker so that I can show you guys where we're gonna be cutting. So we're gonna use two pieces of uh, cardboard. I just cut them in half already into two separate pieces. And what I did is I am drawing a line right down the middle on one of my pieces of cardboard to then create a, uh, a strap to go around my hand. This was something when uh, I was with Team America a couple of years ago down in Cuba uh, coaching with Coach Jim Hall and uh, Peter Caliendo. And this was one of the popular things we would see. They were making soft hands out of anything that they had uh, around them. Uh, you don't always see the, the glitz and glamour. So then what we're gonna do is, we're really just gonna measure our, our, our hand size. So we're gonna put our hand on the, on the piece of cardboard, okay? I would probably suggest putting it in the middle. And I wanna create a little extra space, okay? So I'm gonna cut right along here, I'll cut along over here, okay? The reason I need that extra space is because I need to tape down that strap in that position, so I need extra room. So I'm gonna just cut this cardboard right here, okay? Tape. And now I'm gonna cut this one. Okay. And as you can see, I got a nice hand uh, flat comp, uh, piece of cardboard that's a little bit bigger than my hand so I can tape down my handle, basically with my strap to hold my hand in there, okay? Now, if you want, you can make the cardboard a little bit more pliable. You can start, you know, bend it in a little bit. You know, I would probably encourage doing that before you put the strap on, okay? It just gives a little bit more of a contour to it. As you can see, it's rolled in a little bit now. Obviously, you can keep it flat, that's perfectly fine. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna take some uh, duct tape, okay? Another thing you can do is probably just using a, a piece of string or rope, drill a hole on each side, put the rope around your hand, pull it through, tie a knot. That works just uh, just as good. Okay. Obviously with tape, probably gonna need a couple of pieces. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna get one piece down real quick. In that position here. Then I'm gonna get another piece ready. And I'm gonna slide my hand underneath. I mean, and I could probably put it right about there. Okay. So now I'm just going to take a couple extra pieces. Okay. You want to have that as secure as possible. You don't want to be fiddling with it all the time. So maybe even just going across. So it looks like that now, okay? And there you go, you got basically your own little uh, uh, flat hand pancake glove to use for a lot of your defensive exercise. You can see I slide my hand in, boom, I'm right there. It stays on, it's nice, okay? Obviously, if you really wanna make it a little bit more durable, I would just suggest wrapping the whole thing in duct tape, all right? Uh, maybe I'll do that in my next how-to video, but it's, get, again, something, and you can make it a little bit smaller, it's a little bigger. For now, I can really force that ball off that uh, the flat hand. So that's uh, that's the how-to video. Very simple, took what, five minutes if that, to make and trust me, it's something that uh, obviously you see a lot of major leaguers, a lot of college athletes programs, um, they're all using them, but it really challenges yourself with that glove even more. You can field with this, you can definitely field with a glove.